know this looks really weird. Kinda creeping me out too. Hi, my name is Ellie and I am an artist, a makeup artist also. And um, if you are here watching my video, first of all, thank you so much. Second of all, I'm really awkward. Third of all, I fangirl a lot. Fourth of all, please, please, please remember to be kind and also to love yourself. And if I have made you smile at all at any point in this video, then my job here is done. Have a fantastic day. Did I say that word? Yeah, probably. And please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And you can follow me and all my other fancy stuff. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to moisturize uh, with it's finishing you can't really see it but it's the embroilies I'm pronouncing that wrong I know embroilies this I love this movie so much so good okay middle to show you how I use the NYX uh, cream contour Conceal Correct Contour Palette um, just because this is the too deep for me these colors in there but the yellow in this for me is great for uh, my dark circles or any spots that I may have but you know what I'm gonna do it with my finger I really don't want to clean too many brushes later so yeah this is the yellow and I apply it my dark circle. Somebody had a if if blah, 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 blah. if somebody had a deeper uh, skin tone, I would use the orange for this area, orange or, or coral. I'm gonna very carefully put some of the uh, Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer as well to help uh, evening on evening out the skin. I have very textured skin, and this girl wears freaking highlight like this princess is. I'm just seeing her with a lot of highlight and the thing with highlight on me which is why I'm not a fan of it on me is I have textured skin so highlight will just bring out all those little bumps um, that I have I'm still using the top during forest of the sea water foundation in light medium sand yeah, we start in the middle of the piece. My beauty blender is dark for sure. It's coronation day! <laughs> so I'm just gonna conceal now quickly. This I also use in my other video. It is um, 11 foundation palette from Makeup Forever that I use as concealers. So I just make sure to warm it up on my hand first before I apply it to my face. Don't let them This is a lot of concealer, so I'm just going to use the darkest shade on the NYX um, Conceal Correct Contour because I'm lazy to go and get the other one and I just, I'm just going to use very little because this is extremely dark for me. Instead of doing my natural like that where I'm following my natural shadow, I'm actually going to just cut straight down. Yeah. I know it looks a lot scarier than it is. Chocolate. <laughs> right, my trusty Real Techniques uh, satin brush that looks like this that I do everything with. The chocolate fondue. Boil the alcohol. What are you talking about? I just got the Kat Von D satin powder translucent. I haven't really put it to the test in terms of like long wear and seeing how it holds up holds up in like in the sun and stuff like that yet but I have used it for very short periods of times and I love it so far so good oh I just got goosebumps I think the reason I like frozen as well so much is because it reminded me more of an anime because the princess had like powers, magic powers. It's so pretty when she walks in the water and the thing. Sorry. So Anna has uh, reddish brown hair and eyebrows. Which is the Meron Hair White 
Maroon hair white. White hair colorant. Looks like this. So again, I'm doing this so that I could put... Um, it's too much, too much, too much. Morphe M438. I love the guy in the sauna. He cracks me up. So I am gonna go in with an orange color. I will deepen it uh, with a brown later, but I'm grabbing Slow Burn, the shade from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, with an angle brush. I'm gonna have to clean up around it with concealer. I tried to do a thing and I don't think it's coming off well. So I hope that the wig on the fringe, the fringe on the wig reaches down there enough to hide it. I'm just going to use my cooler from Benefit uh, bronzer, Morphe R5. Okay, Olaf had his minute. Like I was saying, um, making sure I still keep this white, this white area right there because or else everything is just gonna look. Ugh. You know what that means. Ugh. Let's do eyes before I finish off the face. <laughs> so for that, I'm going to use the Urban Decay's Gwen Stefani palette. The Gwen Stefani palette. Start with something all over the lid. Again, Anna does not have some any crazy eyeshadow look. So I'm going to start with Stark, which is like a nude. <laughs> She's exhausted. Girl, I got you. This is M433. And right above the crease, I'm just going to apply... Oh, I'm sorry. That was not Stark before. It was Skimp. <laughs> I was reading it wrong. This is Soon. Huh? You talking this up? I'm filming, so I talk. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> I'm going to take the most shimmery eyeshadow in the palette, which is Pop. And it's this baby right here with a packing brush and some fix it spray, which I did not take out. So I'll just be using rose water. <laughs> Crayon, waterproof extra, long lasting waterproof eye pencil. I was trying to read the French side. In number M60, which is like a dark brown. I'm just gonna apply it on my waterline first. Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and a pencil brush and go really close to the lash line. So I'm going to put on my lashes at the Ardo Ardell Professional Natural Multi Pack. They're like the Demi Wispies. So this is the Morphe 9B and it's a blush palette. I'm just going to grab um, a mixture of the middle one and this one, you know, get, make it really rosy. And then for highlight, I'm going to grab, I just got these, uh, this one, the Fenty Beauty Color One Highlighter. Uh, I'm going to use both, both sides, the Girl Next Door and Chick Freak. So I'm going to start with Girl Next Door. So I have like what, the Meron Water Activated Base from Paradise AQ and in this horrible palette in this palette I have some brown left so I'm just going to take that with a very 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 thin this is actually a nail decorating brush it is so thin I got it at um, Wonderful World and um, I'll apply some and then take my finger and go over that because then that will apply less intense ones as well and they wouldn't look so fake. I'm being very brave today, boy. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight with the 
black paradise AQ paint from Maron. I think the material they were going for is like velvet, like it's like a velvet ribbon. So it's very thick and then it gets thin right where the pendant is hanging. I'm shaking. <sighs> Same uh, Maron Paradise AQ paint in Amazon green. Looks like this. And then uh, I'm going to do the blue green straps now. So I'm going to mix the green with the Amazon green with the dark blue, both from Maron. I think it's actually a little bit more blue than that. So I'm just going to grab, while it's still wet, I'm just going to grab a little bit more of the blue. And make this that in. So far away. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the same cool from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, like this. And I'm going to first do around the green. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the same Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and an angled brush and I'm going to shade... Huh? And I'm going to shade um, right underneath the necklace and on top of it as well just to make it stand out and clean up the lines, the black lines as well. It's some white from the flash palette. I'm going to create kind of like the wrinkles that the pendant, the pendant will create on the material of the necklace. It'll make sense in a second. Coming from the middle of the pendant to This part is pretty cool. I'm <laughs> totally dancing like they are. <laughs> oh no, the, the dress wraps need a little bit like depth, like you know, like if they're being folded. So I'm gonna go in with yellow. Do I have yellow hair? Yes, I was. Give the appearance of it bunching up together towards the inside. <laughs> I love it. I hated it before but now I love it and I feel like a princess. <laughs> and I'm so staring at myself. So um, what I'm also going to do, I usually do dot smash. Does Dub smashes. Dub sm anyway, I see dub smash up and I do the lines of the movie. That's actually how this whole thing started for me. I really like like movie lines. I like to act them out and stuff. And I said, well, why don't I do my makeup to look like the characters? And I would do the dub smash. So, in a rare turn of events, I will be filming myself filming the dub smash. I think that would make for interesting content or at least bloopers of some kind. This is it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it made you smile in some way. I really wasn't feeling it in the beginning and I, I could tell I wasn't, you know, being as creaky and as happy as I usually am while I film. But um, I still hope you learned something or that at least it made you laugh or at least you were like, what the hell is this girl doing? So um, thank you so much for watching again. Please remember to like and subscribe to the video. Leave any comments if you have any questions below. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. We finish each other. Sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why I do this. This heals my soul. Okay? This is what it's all about.